What is up, Tonks? So you're joining this third installment of One Tank with That One Guy, already in progress. And you might be wondering, what's with the voiceover? And <laughs> as any motor vlogger would tell you, if they've been at it for a while, sometimes the audio just does not cooperate. So here I am, providing audio after the fact. Uh, if you're not familiar with the One Tank with That One Guy series, I pick a destination that's within one gas tank's distance from my hometown, and I go there, and I do that thing. This isn't just an adventure for me, but it's also an encouragement for any of you who might be struggling to get out of your comfort zone on your motorcycle, to get out there on the road, find a destination, go there, and keep reaching a little farther every time. Now, one of the things that I find interesting about my one thing with that one guy trips is that I've been living in this same town basically my whole life, and there's still a lot of places that I've never seen within one gas tank's trip of my hometown. And as disappointing and as shameful as that might seem, at the same time, it also gives me motivation to go out, get out of my comfort zone, and eventually take trips that are much more than one tank. So I'm working my way up, finding destinations that I've never been to, and going on many adventures, all in hopes to get on much grander adventures and also at the same time encourage all of you to get out there as well. So today's destination is the Sutter Buttes. Now some fun facts about the Sutter Buttes, it's actually known as the world's smallest mountain range. Now to be completely accurate, it's not actually a mountain range. Rather, they are the remnants of a volcano that's been dormant for about 1.4 million years, but was formed by volcanic activity 1.6 million years ago. Because of the contrast of the farmland, which is the vast majority of what exists around the Sutter Buttes, makes it look much grander than it actually is. Another fact about the Sutter Buttes is because it's surrounded by so much farmland that it wasn't until 2003 that the state of California purchased some land around the Sutter Buttes to turn into a state park. Kind of crazy to think that it's only been 18 years since this mini quote unquote mountain range got a state park. Now you notice as we approach the mountains, the roads are flat, they're straight, and there's not a whole, much, a whole lot to look at. But as we get closer, you'll see things get much more scenic and there'll be a much bigger variety of things to look at. Now, if any of you know what this is, please let me know in the comments. I saw this, it was really completely out in the middle of nowhere. I'm guessing it has something to do with irrigation, maybe some refueling for tractors, but if you're a farmer and you know what this is, please let me know. And on the way there, I saw this beautiful field, which looked like wildflowers to me, but I'm thinking because of these lines and because we're in a bunch of farmland that maybe this is mustard. But again, all of you farmers out there, leave it in the comments. What is this field of yellow flowers? Now as we reach the midpoint, or a little bit more than the midpoint in this ride, one of the most exciting things that is happening, a turn. And you can see we're getting much closer to the mountains, it's not just this little silhouette out in the distance. Now 
Now as much as I enjoyed staring at the back of this truck for a while, we're going to go ahead and pass them up. getting so close and of course you got to go away from the mountains to get to the mountains sometimes and of course as you get closer to the mountains you get into some more turns yippee Now as we get ever so much closer to the Sutter Buttes, you'll start to see the landscape change, you'll start to see more turns, and it just got so pretty out there. Really, if you want to take this ride, I'm going to put in the description the route that I took, but again, you can just use the endpoint and find it for yourself, the directions to get there if you live in Northern California. I highly recommend this ride, it's really pretty. Now this is one of the really interesting things that I saw on the way there. There was this, what looks like maybe in a, a bridge that, that used to be used uh, for something. And now it's just been uh, barricaded or fenced off and looked like it hasn't been touched by anything but a paint can in decades. And the closer we got to the, the buttes, the windier the road got, and really just overall, the prettier the scenery got. Such a fun ride. If you live in Northern California, and then you're like me, every time there's a cow, you gotta point it out. So guys, we're getting closer to the mountain. I really appreciate you guys taking this ride with me. I apologize for the audio snafu that occurred, but I actually kind of liked the fact that I got to watch the video from this trip and have the opportunity to take it all in one more time.
So like I said before, the buttes are surrounded by private farming land, and so it was really hard for me to find a place to pull over. Uh, if you've been in a scenic place before on your motorcycle and you're looking for a place to pull over to snap a really nice shot, you know the feeling. So uh, this might not have been the only U-turn that I made to find this spot. I wish I could have broken the drone out for you guys, but like I said, this was all private property out there and I really wanted to respect people's space. All right, guys, we made it. Smack dab in the middle of the Sutter Buttes and majestic for not necessarily mountains. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, Siri. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up down there, which is the like button. Uh, so glad that you guys could join me for this. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, or just more of me, which is that one guy, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Guys, if you are out there riding, please be safe. Be kind to one another. My name is Eric, I'm that one guy, and I am out. Let's get some more video of this.